Hey everyone, welcome to Pageant Professors. We're talking with Miss Black Virginia USA, Kimi Holloway. Yes. You are preparing for your red dress shoot and I love your evening gown. Thank you so much. It's, Thank you. Yeah, can you um, describe it for us? Or how you went about picking it? Sure. Well, I was definitely looking for something that fits my personality. Um, I'm elegant, but I like to have fun. So um, I just kind of figured out that this dress would be best for me because it is very elegant, but at the same time, you can have a lot of fun with it. Excellent. So can we see something similar for Miss Black USA? You're going to go completely different on us. Oh, you know, I like to keep the mystery, so <laughs> I'm not going to tell. But Got definitely it. look out for me. I always have something very exquisite yet um, glamorous for pageants. You can definitely look forward to me there. Yeah, so tell us a little bit about your pageant experience. This is not your first pageant. No, it's not. Um, pageantry is new, new to me as a young adult because I started my first pageant in 2007. I wasn't allowed to do pageants when I was younger. My parents wanted me to wait until I was old enough yeah. where I could understand what pageantry was about, that it's not just about the glamour, it is about community service and just being an educated woman overall. So um, I competed in Canada, I competed in a lot of Canadian um, pageant systems. I came oh. second place for Miss Canada Globe. Oh my goodness. Yep. Wow. And I competed for um, Miss Queen of the Islands and Miss Caribbean Tourism in Canada as well. And I placed first runner-up for both of those pageants as well. Fantastic. So yeah, it's just definitely something that's very fun to me and I enjoy meeting all my sister queens and helping out my community. Great. So tell us a little bit about why you chose to compete in Black USA. Okay, well, um, Miss Black USA, the pageant was actually recommended to me by one of my makeup artists that I work with, and she told me that she thought this pageant would be perfect for me because it promotes education, self-awareness, and community service all in one. So after hearing that and doing my own independent research into the pageant, I felt like this would be perfect for me. Great. So what do you think the judges are looking for in the new title holder? Oh, well, I do. What do you hope they're looking for? <laughs> <laughs> Me, you know. Yeah. Um, well, what I think that um, all the judges look for in a title holder for the Miss Black USA pageant is somebody that is educated, somebody that's well spoken, somebody that provides a lot of service to their community. So I think that's something that they would be consistently looking for in all of the contestants from this year and previous years yeah. as well. I love the service piece that the organization is involved in. Mm -hmm. Tell us a little bit about your advocacy work and your personal platforms. Okay. Okay, well, um, this year I'm promoting two platforms. So the first platform that I'd like to be promoting is Equal Access to All, Equal Access for All. So I'm promoting Equal Access for Education Standards and for Breast Cancer Awareness Material. So it's definitely something that's very dear to my heart. I did lose my mother to breast cancer when I was younger. So um, that's definitely a piece of my platform that comes uh, close to me, comes close to my heart. Yeah, you know, um, that's a story that I hear. Um, we interviewed a title holder recently that also lost her mother uh, to breast cancer. So to children or young adults that are dealing with something like that, uh, you know, what's your advice to them to help get them through that situation? Well, um, from what I've learned, I think that the best piece of advice that I can offer somebody who's lost a family member or a parent to breast cancer is, first and foremost, know that they're in a better place. Nobody wants to be suffering in the hospital. It's definitely not something pleasant to see. And second of all, um, set your personal goals very high. Set your personal goals very high and definitely persevere through any obstacles and continue on. It's definitely important to continue on. Absolutely. I'm sure your mother is very proud. Hopefully. Of looking down on you. Um, so, um, gosh, sorry. Can we cut that? Okay. <laughs> um, yeah, we just interviewed a title holder and she had like a very similar story. Here? I was like so touched by it. No, um, oh, I was like, Here? somewhere else. Yeah, no, we had another interview from someone that came into our studio that's in another system. Yeah, it was really, I mean, it's it's definitely um, different because I lost my mom when I was 13. So yeah. I grew up with my dad and two brothers and gotcha. went from being a tomboy to a girly girl. Yeah. Kind of. No. <laughs> oh, we'll talk about that. Okay, that's good. <laughs> So, you know, tell us a little bit about uh, your family life. I know they have two brothers, obviously, uh, your dad. So, you know, you're kind of a self-proclaimed tomboy who's kind of become this pageant queen. Tell us yes, about that uh, evolution. <laughs> Well, um, it's definitely something that's very interesting because I did lose my mom when I was 13 years old. So um, I grew up with my dad and, like you said, and two brothers, which I did get a lot of the masculine input on life. So it was kind of on my own uh, to search out my feminine side and find something that would be perfect for me. And that's how I became a pageant queen and came to pageantry because I had to search out my feminine side and, you know, promote my self-values and my self-interest and find something that was dear to me. And here I am, red dress and all. Great. <laughs>
Did you know that there are some really common mistakes that girls make during the evening gown portion of their competition? Click on the link in the description below and you'll be taken to our website for a free 30 minute long training course. By the end of it, you'll learn how to avoid these common mistakes and master the evening gown portion of your competition today.